What's up guys, it's Dave bringing you guys a video on the whole multiplayer reveal that we saw today. Uh, we got a little gameplay in the background, some screenshots I'll be showing you guys throughout my uh, commentary. So I guys hope you enjoy. So uh, let's get started now. Next few screenshots I got are the actual perks for the game. So uh, take a little uh, note about, like I said earlier, the no quick draw on any of these perks. So yeah. Here's here's the first perk slot that you guys get for the options. Uh, a lot of these perk slots, or a lot of perks in the perk slots are for the new little thing that you can use for like your boost jump and your boost slam and all that stuff. Like there's one perk in each of the three sections that actually help and apply to that so keep that in mind when you're picking your perks there's a few new features that are really new that are pretty cool like uh the original firing range uh where it's basically what it says is it's a virtual firing range to test out your guns and get a feeling for it it's, it's a pretty cool idea to add on there uh within your 13 slots for your creative class now there are kill streaks which you can apply or not apply if you do want them or you do not want them which is also a cool new feature that i saw they're bringing back the game mode war from world at war which is going to be called momentum is what they're calling it now which i guess it's pretty cool i can't wait to play that i love playing that in uh, world at war and uh another thing they added on is the virtual guy for if you're scrolling past someone's gamer tag in the lobby you can see what they're wearing and their whole class set up and all that it's pretty cool i actually enjoyed watching that and seeing that it looks like a great feature to the new game what was really cool that I thought would be a complete bust in this game that would ruin it is the invis mode or whatever you guys want to call that um, you're not completely invisible, you can kind of see the outline of people, which I'll show here on the screen here in a minute. And uh, I'll also show it from your first person point of view as well. It's pretty cool. I actually think it'll be an awesome, very awesome add to the game, especially now that they're not completely invisible and you can actually see the whole body outline. Some of the new maps that they're bringing to Advanced Warfare that they showed us in the multiplayer trailer reveal is a map called Ascend, Biolab, Defender, and Riot. I didn't really hear much about them. I tried to pay attention as much as I could, but uh, <laughs> they look pretty cool from what I saw. I mean, it's, it's a typical map if you guys understand what I'm saying. I really don't think it matters to you guys or how they are because I mean, we're going to play them anyways. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, the maps look great, the detail looks amazing. I mean, there's obviously a lot of things that you can do with the new EXO thingy in every map, which, uh, which is pretty cool. So, score streaks are back from BO2 for your kill streak. You know, it's. But speaking of uh, score streaks, you can actually upgrade, as I would call it, your, uh, your score streaks. Which, for example, like, if you have a sentry gun you can upgrade it to get like rocket launchers instead of an actual sentry gun and then you can upgrade more to get and pull it off like the actual turret and use it as a minigun it's pretty cool and uh but of course the more you upgrade it the higher the score streak is this seems like a really cool idea i'm glad they added this to it and i'm glad they added where you don't have to exactly have kill streaks and that you can actually have 13 things towards your creative class instead of you know just 10 or and everything has to go towards kill streaks. You don't have to have kill streaks, which is the cool thing, which is probably something I'm not going to be running in this game. And the final thing I want to cover are the returning game modes for uh, Advanced Warfare. We are not going to have any more search and rescue. It's going to be regular search and destroy again, which is what I'm excited about. They're bringing back Cap the Flag, and instead of Drop Zone, like we have in Ghost, it is going to be Hardpoint once again from BO2. 
which will be fun. It'll be fun to watch comp players play this stuff because I can't wait to watch some competitive shit on this. So that's what I got for you guys today. And actually, you know what? Also, one more thing before I go, I want to know is about the kill feed. Is that it does not roll. It stays on screen, but the fifth one's gonna fade away. Like I'll show you here in a picture, and I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't completely fade, but it just gets like really light. Like I said, it fades a bit. It doesn't completely fade away. So, I mean, that's going to be pretty cool for uh, us snipers out there. I mean, the clips are going to look really nice. Like, the, especially the five ons and possibly the six ons that we're going to be hitting out there. I mean, who knows what we're going to hit. So, it's going to be really nice on that uh, that new feed that we got. Thank God it's at the bottom left again. I'm so relieved. I do not like the whole top right shit that we did in Ghost. It was just ridiculous. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay and really liked what I talked about today. If you did, drop a like in the comment. If you guys really want to hear me talk about different stuff, different topics for commentaries, leave them in the comments below and I'll listen and I'll definitely do what you guys want me to do. That's what I'm here for, to make you guys entertained and make sure you guys enjoy my videos. That's what I'm trying to do, so if you guys can help me out with that, that'd be great. So I'm Dave and I'm out guys. Later.